Hello everybody. In this video, we will discuss how to create rooms in Revit. And in Revit, each part of your building can be considered as a room. Anything surrounded by walls can be considered as a room. Even if you are talking about a toilet, an elevator, a staircase, a chase even, you can define it as a room. And the room is very important for both architect and uh, MEP engineers because they're going to take it and define other things that uh, relate to uh, in, in, uh, in their work like a space and a zone. So uh, it's a starting point for everybody. We'll start with uh, uh, rooms of architects. That's how we do it course there is a relationship between rooms furniture and schedules and that's going to help us do some work uh, as we will see in the coming future videos one of the things that i will always like to do is to separate my work and what i'm going to do i'm going to come over here at the floor plan zero gf right click and say duplicate my view because i'm going to do some work so I'm going to go either duplicate or duplicate with this detailing. And since I don't have any tags, any text, any dimension, the, 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 the command would be the same at that moment. So I'm going to say duplicate because the content will be different. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call it dash rooms. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, it will be head in line so I don't uh, see any colors and there are lots of things that I don't want to see right now so uh, the best thing to do is to go to view and choose visibility graphics and let me start by clicking on uh, furniture furniture system uh, lighting fixtures yeah, if there are lighting fixtures in the rooms, uh, plumbing fixtures, where is plumbing? Plumbing fixtures, uh, entourage, okay, uh, what else? Floors, we don't like to see floors right now, as well as you go to the annotation categories and select reference lines. Or reference planes let me see reference planes not reference lines and we'll say okay right now I'm turning everything off so it will be clean easy for me to define uh, my rooms okay how to define a room in Revit now each as I said each space surrounded by walls is considered to be a room and you can imagine this space we'll discuss that in a, the coming minutes so uh, there are multiple ways to define rooms and Revit. So I'll go to architectural under room and area. I'll say room. And you can see now lots of things like we are doing in a level 0GF. The upper limit is 0GF. The limit offset is uh, 4000. That's the uh, height of the level. Of course, you can change all of these values if you want to. And the tag will be horizontal or vertical or model. And room is always will define a new room. You can see now whenever I'm moving my mouse, it's hover over an area. It's going to define a room for me. So I'm going to do this the first one by clicking on it. And it give it a name and a number. Uh, don't make the mistake of clicking on the tag this is the tag when you see the x this is the room definition click on the x and go to the name and you can see there are nothing defined before which is i will call it office and i will give it a number of zero one and you can see that they are changing right now now let's define another one Okay, it's going to be room, but it's going to be 02. 
So the numbering over here is, is very important. I'm going to seek for the X. I'm going to get the X. And you can see now office is listed over here. So it will be easier for me. Third one, room. And of course I can align that. And I can simply click. And this is 0, 3. I'm seeking for the X. And where is the X? If you can't see the X, you can hover over the tag and press escape, uh, press tab up until you can see it. And the room over here is going to be toilet. Okay, it's <coughs> defined. Now, uh, doing it one by one is good, controllable, but Revit has a good method of doing place rooms automatically. And you can see in the coming minutes how easy this is going to be. We'll say place room automatically. And it will show me that 13 rooms created automatically, of course, in this floor, not in the first floor. So shouldn't worry about that. We'll say close. And the numbers is a little bit awkward but still you can correct it so the numbers are not very important i'm going to go for this chase can you see that the tag for it and i'm going to just move it outwards so it's not it's telling me that the room tag is outside of its room enable leader uh, or move the room tag within its room i'm going to enable the leader by clicking over here and it says, okay, so I'm going to just hover over this and select toilet, hover over the X and select office and so on and so forth. It's very easy to do that. Of course, this one. I'm going to hover over the X and I'm going to say this is a chase. All right, great. Now this is can be considered as a room because it's separate. So I'm going to call it entrance. And here, since I have this big area, it's all considered to be one room. How can I solve the problem? I can solve the problem by introducing what we call a room separator. So I will introduce a room separator over here, from here, over here. And let me see if my room change. It didn't change. Okay, let me just simply introduce it over here. It says that the wall and room separation line overlaps. Okay. And I will introduce a room separator over here. Something like that. Is there any difference? You can see there now there is a difference. So I have to define this as a room. Okay. I'm introducing now two more room separator. From, let me introduce it from here to here with a warning no problem with that okay and another room separator from here to here and now as you can see we have this area as we want it and I will go with room separator from here to here with a warning no problem and I can define now a room over here it's uh, yeah a room it's not working I don't know why yeah a room is over here I want to define a room over here, but I want to exclude this. So uh, room separator, let me 
I don't know if I can do this. Yes, it overlaps. So I'm actually separating these, but why it's not defining? Okay. Again, room. Yes, it's working now. I can define this is as a room and this as a room and I don't know what's happening yeah maybe you need to yes put some uh, work over here now each one of this of course what I can do I can call this as an entrance again two entrances and I can call this uh, corridor and this as a corridor you can see the list we make and this is an open area you can call it like that and of course I can change the numbering uh, method for my uh, work but let me first before I do some cross-sectioning and these things and uh, let me just change the naming for this so it will be easier so when I define this is an office it's another office and this is another office let's press tab yes this is an office I can select by the way multiple hold the control and these two rooms had the same name that's one of the things that you can do let's do that for the toilets but before we do that we click make a leader so when we just grab it outside that will be acceptable by a rabbit and I'll call this as a chase again yes this one hold the okay tap hold the control and these are gonna be toilets so kind of I'm finished with the naming and I have multiple things I can do with that for instance if I click on the um, tag of the of the room I right click and say uh, select all instances visible in a view it's all selected and you can see now that the family of this tag called room tag and there are other one which is a room tag with area and you can see now the areas of the different uh, 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 rooms and with a volume the volume here is not computed and why is that because the sitting over here area and volume computations say volumes are computed at finished faces areas and volumes once you say okay now you can see that the volumes are calculated as well so if you right click and say select all instances visible in a view then you select the area you're gonna see this as we did great one other thing that I'd like to show you is I can create a section for a series of rooms like this and let me just wow this is the I'll introduce yes that much and let me show you that I can see now in the section see the rooms and you can see that the rooms are defined over here as I defined it can you see that so if I want to I can use the uh, tag room tag room and tag the rooms as I did and uh, that's right the naming and the numbering is copied and you can see that and as I did previously I can select to show that a volume or an area as uh, well one final thing that I would like to show you is uh, the color coding of 
the uh, uh, rooming over here. How can we do that? We can simply making sure that nothing is selected and then go what we call a color scheme. Color scheme right now is none. If you click on it, you see like going to schema one and of course you can rename this to whatever you want to and what is the color code for is it for the name is it for the number is it for the number of people is it for the parameter you can select lots of parameters over here but we want to make it simple we'll say naming and uh, say colors not preserved colors are not preserved when changing which parameter is colored to color by a different parameter consider making a new color scheme okay say okay and by value uh, by naming that's the one oh say spaces i said uh, rooms so name that's the one so sorry i made a mistake so we go like name and you can see now the naming that I use, Chase, corridor, corridor, Entrance, Office, Open Area, Room, and Toilet. And you can see in use. Yes, 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 yes. And this is preview of the color. And you can choose a fill pattern at any moment if you want to. It's up to you. But you can see the preview of that. Solid fill. This is the, the one that we want to. And we can select which one is visible as well if you want to. And we'll say, okay and nothing has happened because you know you need to go to yes now it's uh, analyze go to color fill select the uh, sorry i did that fast uh, color fill select color fill legend and once you do that a room legend will be created for our work and just to show you something uh what we can do we can go back to the color scheme and we can introduce sorry we can add over here add uh, a new entry let's say let's call it a meeting room and or a meeting so to make it simple say okay and it introduced a meeting over here at number four it's sorted out by alphabetical order with that brown color but you can see now in use is no and once i say okay nothing is added over here because it's not used okay so what i can do i can come to one of these offices and change the name to meeting and once i do that a new color is introduced and the meeting is introduced and the room uh, legend so in a nutshell, these are the things that we need to do in order to create rooms, whether in sections, whether in um, uh, plans. Uh, we recommend always to create a duplicate of the view so you preserve whatever you want to outside the rooms, outside this view, whatever you want to do or introduce to do a color coding or a naming for your work, you can do that as uh, well. So these are, in a nutshell, how to create rooms and make the controlling thing. Great. Uh, go to the PDF file and locate the uh, file, um, uh, the uh, tutorial called Tutorial 11. Go to the RVT files and open the file called Tutorial 11 and do whatever I did in this video. Wishing, uh, wishing all you all the luck. Thank you very much.